Welcome back to Elden Ring. At the end of the last episode, we just discovered the Side of Grace, which allowed us to talk with the Shrine Maiden, or Finger Maiden, I guess, and get a Maiden for the first time, so now we can actually level up. I think we just automatically summon them at every Side of Grace, or can summon them. Let's actually see. Do they just appear? Level up. Oh, you don't even, like, they don't appear in the world, you just go straight to the level up menu. Okay. Yeah, how many levels can we get right now? Two. Well, I don't think I want to level up just yet. I think I want to go back to the merchant and see what we can buy with our rooms. And I guess we can't do that from the side of grace itself. We have to do it from here. I feel like as the Dark Souls... Dark Souls games have gone on. They've gotten more and more colorful. May I have a word? Hello. You weren't here before. You wonderfully creepy wizard. It's all foggy in here now. God, it's a really pretty game. Like, the From Software games have never been impressive, uh, like, fidelity-wise. They've never been even close to cutting edge, but their design is really good. And yeah, they've just gotten more and more colorful as, as they've gone on. Sekiro was really colorful. And this one is... Well, I don't know how it's going to compare to Sekiro, but it's definitely significantly more colorful than Dark Souls 3 even. Which was more than two, which was more than one. I love it. I want your hat. Oh, so cool looking. Pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Well, I haven't done it yet, but yes, I can. By the way, uh, it might be a little bit hard to see, but... They have two faces? I, I can't tell if the other one is like another head attached to their shoulder or if it's more of a like spectral reflection of them. But they have like another spectral head. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Hmm. Oh, they have multiple hands as well. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes. Spirit calling bell. Lone Wolf Ashes. I will. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. Thank you. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Yeah, what I'd heard people say is that this is basically a way of getting help for encounters without being online. So it's a single player version of getting help for encounters. So you don't have to be online if you need help. That's nice because nothing like that existed in the previous Dark Souls. You had to be online if you wanted. Or wait, hold on. Did you? Because you actually could summon NPCs sometimes in the other Dark Souls games. Never mind, I'm not sure. This exact mechanic didn't exist in the other games, of course, but there actually might have been offline ways of receiving help. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Bye. It was nice meeting you. Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, 
Then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. I suppose so. Both wanderers. So yeah, we have quite a bit of money. For all calling finger remedy reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs? No. Yeah, I do want the telescope, definitely. I do want cookbooks, for sure. Let's get the missionary's cookbook. It's more expensive, so it must be better, right? And then also get the Flask of Wondrous Physic note. Goodbye. Nice to do business. Yes. Oh right. If I want to upgrade my sword, I need a couple hundred runes. Um how many runes do I have? Oh, I have to do it a couple hundred. Now how do I do all of them? Use selected, is that it? Yes. Six hundred? Yeah. It's probably enough to upgrade my sword. Yes, it is. Or my staff. So for my score, it makes it... For, did I just say my scored? For my sword, it makes it do really not that much more damage. Very small upgrade. Hmm. This would increase the sorcery scaling, which means anything that I cast with it would do more damage. Probably. I'm just making assumptions because this looks very similar to the previous, previous games. What does upgrading the shield do? It increases the physical attack power? Is that really relevant for a shield? I would hope it does something else. I don't know. Let's just do the sword. Let's buy another cracked pot. Okay, so now that I have that other recipe book, do I need to read it? Oh, and what does the other note say? A flask of wondrous physics still remains in the third church of America, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Hmm. North of the Mistwood. Well, I haven't found the Mistwood yet. Stormgate, Groveside, Groveside Cave, Church of Ella. No, haven't found that yet. Not relevant just yet. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Um, but yeah, that crafting recipe stuff. Like, does it just give me the recipes just by buying it? There it is. Uh, well, I can't use it. Like, not directly. A record of crafting techniques left by a man who, unable to become a finger maiden, instead became a missionary and went forth to spread holy teachings. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following holy water pot and roped holy water pot. Okay. How do I get the knowledge, though? I want the knowledge? Maybe that'll make sense later? Oh no, I, I can. Just by having my inventory, I have the recipes. Okay. Takes mushrooms and tarnished golden sunflowers. This one, the roped one, takes a rope. Throw behind to inflict holy damage. Uses FP. Oh, I can also make a furl calling finger remedy. I can also make some bone darts. Ooh, nasty. I can make that with the thin beast bones we got from the wolves in that cave. I guess I'll, I don't know, make some? See how it is? They added a really cool system that I'm already in love with in this game compared to the previous ones. So you still have the traditional quick items. You can put things here, and then if you press down on the D-pad, it'll switch between them. I only have the Flask of Crimson Tears, so there's nothing to switch between. But yeah, that switches your active item, and then you press X to actually use that item. Uh, however, what they added is the pouch on the right side of the screen. You can assign four different items to different directions on the D-pad. And if you hold down Y, 
You can see on the bottom left. If you hold down Y, it switches the mode so that the D-pad directions now will use these items. So you don't have to like, you don't have to fumble around with switching items. Like, I, that would happen to me all the time. Switch items, make sure I'm on the right one, and then use it, and then try to switch back to like the crimson, you know, the, the main healing flask, which is what you want most of the time. It was just kind of cumbersome and annoying. But this Y thing is great. Like, you can keep your crimson tears, your flask, just right there. You want to throw something, just through a thing. Now it's back to normal, I can still use my crimson tears. It's great. That's a fantastic system. Oh, you can pass time, by the way, if you want to change the time of day. But anyway, shall we get on our horse? I haven't gotten to ride it yet. Um, I think... Yeah, I gotta use it like that. Hello! Double jump, double jump! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, how does this thing control? Sorry. Breaking all the wares. Oh, this thing's so fast. Oh my god, it's so fast. I love it. I love that animation when it comes to a stop. When you're sprinting. Just a little, like, little slide. Very cool. Yeah, you can't turn as sharp. Like, you have to turn rather than instantly changing direction like you do when you're on foot. Um, ah, left stick to get off. Same as Crouch. Yeah, a little bit of a turning radius, but controls pretty tightly. Likely morning. Well, it's actually nighttime. Sorry. Can I gather berries on... Yeah, I can! I don't have to get off. Sweet! That... Yeah, that boss is still over there. I'm sure I would still die in one hit. I haven't leveled up. There's like a... Rune... Some sort of icon on the extreme left of the screen. That like white little archway with some text in it. I have no idea what that means. Does that disappear when I'm off? No. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, right. I can feed them um, berries. I know it's to heal them and they're probably not hurt, but still. Like, I gotta feed them berries. Let's put them in my pouch. Yes, there you go. Oh, do it again. Yes. Oh, I can just crack it just with the hooves. Yeah, so how does combat work on this thing, huh? Okay. So just slicing on the right side. Mm, what about, like, magic? You can use magic. You do slow down when you cast it. Is there falling damage? Behold, bird, indeed. Joy ahead. I don't know, I see a blood stain ahead. But uh, yeah, is there any fall damage? If not, I, or even if there is, I could maybe negate it with a double jump. Didn't expect tranquility. Oh, I got the, um... I got the telescope. Yeah, let's use that. I feel like I probably don't need bone darts, given that I can cast magic. If I was melee only, that'd be more important. And I assume I can use the telescope on horseback? Of course. So like, whoa. 
Oh, I was only pressing the right keys to attack. Yeah, the left ones do the exact same thing on the other side. Strong and light attacks on the other side. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Can I like... No! Can I zoom in at all? Doesn't seem like I can. I think this is it. Telescopes have always been kind of shitty in the Souls games. Hmm. I see a bunch of small crabs down there. There's some ruins. That's about all I can see. Oh. There is fall damage. So yeah, about that double jump thing. Can I use it to cancel fall damage? Mushroom ahead, therefore try think carefully. Thank you. Well. <gasps> Birdies. Hello. Oh, not even really scared of us at all. Oh, look at the little poofs of dust as they waddle. Come on, waddle. They're too cute. Oh, whoa. I did the double jump, but I don't think it canceled out my damage because I still took a lot there. Okay. Oh, hello. That is not an enemy. Oh, wait, it's you again. Or is that... No, that must be another one of their people. They have, um... Is that a back scratcher? It looks like a back scratcher. <laughs> Seek arms. <laughs> yes. Found him. Smoldering butterfly. What is that? Oh, it's under crafting materials. An eternally burning butterfly found near wildfires and elsewhere. Material used for crafting items. Serves as the kindling for a number of items. Oh, I should be reading more of these descriptions. Well, I'm not going to just lower dump them all right now. We'll see. I'll read them as they, as they interest me or something. Um, yeah, it looks like in the item crafting, I can make a fire pot now. Just one, but let's do that. I'm gonna put that here. I guess the bone darts. I don't know. We'll see how much damage they do. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Oh, I can't talk with them. All right, what do you sell? Boluses. Neutralizing, staunching, stimulating. Alleviates buildup of sleep. Alleviates impending blood loss. Alleviates poison buildup and cures poison. We have an armor's cookbook. Some weapons, a couple notes. Land escorts. What the hell is a land escort? They're a bit touchy. I'm scared about what this says. Time for physical? I think they're trying to make some sex joke about the donkey, but that just doesn't work. Behold, merchant. Oh, even that breaks. Oh my god, everything's so destructible. I love it. Okay, so... Can we swim? <laughs> okay. Uh... 
hmm, given that you can jump in all of this and all of that, like I felt like your movement abilities were so much wider. The possibilities are so much wider. I felt like surely, surely you can swim, but no, nope, still can't. So either you're not meant to get out there or there's some like place of land, like, you know, a sandbar or something that leads out to it some somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of bloodstains and a lot of messages. <laughs> Any of them tell me how to get over there? Why is it always something? Try jumping. No! No hidden path ahead. Be wary of depths. Try crossable spot. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured, that there's a crossable spot. Depths ahead. Just, I wonder where the crossable spot is. Like, probably not from the back. I feel like it'd be maybe further that way on the shore. Hello, ooze. Well, this is nauseating. Ah! I'm not sure how to tell Torrent's HP, but I'm gonna feed him anyway. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. These things take forever. Good excuse to, I don't know, try the fire pot? Is that effective? Pretty, yeah. That's not effective, but fire is good. What about magic? 60. A lot better than melee. Melee was what? 11? Ah! Is it worth killing those? Probably not. Oh, this is one of the things that shoots you up, I think. Jump on horseback near a spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into a spirit spring while on horseback, even from a great height. There's a lot of bloodstains here. A lot. I'm guessing people that fell back down not into the spirit spring. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're reviving. Uh, what is keeping you alive? Well, let's kill the archer. Although that one's probably gonna revive too. Ooh, that hurts. Maybe... There might be a caster, like, hiding over there. It's also possible I just need to hit them while they're down. No! Switch! Yeah, you just need to hit them while they're down. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. Hmm. Ah, so defeating that group gave me one flask. Cool. I want to do a counter on you. Yeah, that wasn't very useful. Can I break its poise? Oh, 
Oh, I did. Ha! Huh, I made it flat. <laughs> That's just dreadful. Oh, gotta get used to my own controls. Why? Why up for FP? Hefty beast bone. All right, I get it. You're well endowed. Gold pickled foul foot. Is that a crafting item? No. What is that? It's under tools. Boosts rune acquisition for a time. Oh, it's like a lucky foot. <laughs> Item ahead. Uh-huh. Sure. I love that there's just like little breakable objects you can kick around and, well, break. Alright, I understand why there are so many bloodstains there. I thought it would launch me straight up, not into the fucking water. <laughs> um, can you jump on water, Torrent? But even if you can, surely you can't jump forever. Do I need- I feel like I probably need to get an ability. Like there must be an ability or something. Water walk. Any other hints? Horse, but still no horse. Praise the horse. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way on the... Uh, the shore. I'm not doing that again. Maybe when I can practice on, like, water that's near a respawn point, but this is too far away. What are those things? Let's try to parry. Oh, they're very screamy. Yeah, I don't think these things are going to be a good time. Oh, it's a turret. Please don't be an enemy. I don't want to kill you. Look at that turret. It's so slow. I love it. Beautiful. Can I jump? Can I, like, ride you? Oh, I can't. So yeah, you. You look disgusting. 
Wait, do you even want to kill me? Oh, no, you do. You do. Oh, it's got a beak. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, I think range is the way to go here. Uah. Land octopus ovary. Strip of white flesh. Mm mm. What might those be? Crafting materials? Yeah. Puffy, milky white ovary of a land octopus. Land octopuses eat humans in order to bear young, and theirs is the blood that runs through these ovaries. Huh. White flesh. The dried meat toughens the constitution, boosting resistance. It's known for its long-lasting effect. Can I just eat that on its own? No. But I'm sure I could cook it into something. Oh, there's a baby one! Oh, look at it! Oh, I'm sorry, that's cute. He's a baby. He's a little baby. Is it going to try to attack me? I think it is. Are you going to try to nipple? Are you going to nipple? Aww. I'm not going to kill it. It's too cute. I think it won't even attack me if I'm on a horse. I'm too high up. No, okay, we'll try. Here you go, have some berries, Torrent. Oh, there's so many of these skulls here, the glowing ones. Like, half a dozen. Oh, no, these aren't the skulls. These are the ruin fragments. Ruins. Butt up? Indeed. Oh, hey. That's a big, that's a big boy. Dare I try to take it out with melee? Let's try. That's not right. Oh, 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 wow. Dare I try to attack them again? Wait, did I? Oh, I cut off one of their tentacles. There's the other one. Grows them. Get me out of there, get me out of there, get me out of there. Yeah, magic's the way to go.
So you really want to hit him in the front. Yeah. Does way more damage to the head. Reminding me of Breath of the Wild. Am I going to find a Korok? Uh, this would probably be easier to do if I wasn't on horseback. Gotcha! With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Adding affinities. The whetstone knife you can use... Wait. Isn't it the same? Uh, you can alter armaments, attack affinity, boost scaling, uh, attribute scaling, and more. Okay, so I can do that at Sites of Grace. Gotcha. Oh, another traitor. Be wary of enemy. Oh, it is an enemy. Enemy ahead. Try magic. Well, I have like no FP left, unfortunately. Right? Yeah, no. No, my flask is dry. Well, let's get a backstab in at least. Oh, wow, that almost killed me. Oh, that did kill me. That's a toughie. Now I could just magic them, but I want to melee them. Oh, their buff is gone. Okay. Nice. I got a parry. Proud of myself. I thought the only parry I'd get would be at the beginning of the game. Strip of white flesh. Hmm. Do fires hurt you? No, they don't. Smoldering butterfly. Behold up, castle ahead. Oh, damn. Yeah. Wow.
We know what this is gonna say. Secret ahead. Uh huh. Liars. <laughs> I think that's it for the shore. Yeah, so if I want to go back, I can just teleport, right? Yeah, cool. Well, I have a lot of souls now. I could level up. Or I could also go to the other merchant and buy their recipe books. Wait, I still have a recipe book to buy from you. I want recipe books far more than I want to level up. Well, you're back. Take your last cracked pot. Goodbye. What can I craft now? Quite a few more things. Invigorating white cured meat. Mmm. Octopus ovary. I need some crab eggs for that. But yeah, I can make some fire pots. I don't get this roped one. Like, what's different? It says throw behind. To inflict fire damage. What do you mean? Like, it throws it behind me instead of in front of me? Why would I want that? I don't get it. Rainbow stone. They shine with the colors of the rainbow, making them useful markers when placed on the ground. Can also be dropped to gauge the distance of a fall. The higher the pitch of the sound, the higher the likelihood of the fall being fatal. Once used to entertain children on the fringes of the lands between. I'll make some of that. Sounds like fun. Don't really need this. But uh, yeah, let's make... I don't know. Let's make a roped fire pot just so I can figure out what it does. Because God knows... Let's just play around with these things. So, rainbow stone. Aww. And if I throw another one, I assume it's going to be a random color. Yeah, pretty. Now, what about this roped fire pot? What should I test it out on? I don't know. Let's just take one of these roaming enemies. <laughs> Okay, what's this gonna do? It does throw it behind you. Is that like for PvP? Like, how would that be useful against AI? Damn, Perry Master. Let's go explore some new areas. Not the intended route, of course. Hell no, but like we've explored down there and everything to the right. Um, oh wait, hold on. We still have the big boy. Let's try to take on the big boy. Oh, they are not happy. Oh. Oh. How much does magic do against them? Oh, they're kind of fast. Good amount. Oh, oh, you're going to use your sword now. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, 
Oh! Whoa! All right, when they charge up their sword, run. They will one-hit KO me. Gotcha. I was going really well otherwise, though. I think I should get more FP potions. I think I need to change the allocation. Souls back. Let's try again. Will that reach? Nope. Using magic for this feels like I'm cheating, but like, surely it's intended. Half the classes are casters. Did... It didn't drop anything. I didn't even look how many souls it gave me. Um, I think about a thousand. Hmm. Well, it's a good amount of souls. Let's use it to go purchase some things from the merchant down here. You again? I don't want any trouble. I just want to buy your stuff. Chill. Yeah, let's get these notes. And the cookbook. Now I think I can make the neutralizing boluses and maybe like the glowstone is new. Okay. So I know that this guy will one shot me, but now I have a horse. So... Did that just reflect my... Oh, it reflects my magic. Okay, if I stay on the non-shield side, I think I can get away with using magic. I just need to avoid getting hit at all. Wow! Does more damage to me than it does to them. Do I stand a chance in hell or should I wait? I don't know. What about the arc? Does that do more? Not really. <laughs> no, I should wait. I need to get out of one shot territory. Not all their attacks one shot me, but some do.
Okay, well, I think that is, well, honestly, not that great of a place to end the episode, but I need to end it anyway, because I need to, like, go to sleep and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore more in that direction, more to the east, more here. <laughs>